Okay, if you just let me explain, I can explain this. If I you don't just have listen. Much time. I've got a letter. I don't mean literally, but I have a feeling this is the last letter because there's only one thing left to tell you. It isn't to go down memory lane or make you buy a lamp. You can take care of yourself without any help from me. It's to tell you how much you move me, how you changed me by loving me. And for that, I am eternally grateful, literally. If you can promise me anything, promise me that whenever you're sad or unsure or you lose complete faith, that you'll try and see yourself through my eyes. Thank you for the honor of how lucky am I. You made my life, but I'm just one chapter in yours. There'll be more. I promise. So here it comes. The big one. Don't be afraid to fall in love again. Watch out for that signal. When life as you know it ends. P.S. I will always love you. You had me at hello. You had me at hello. I love you. You? Complete me. I want to remind you. It was the first time that I saw you. I had never seen anything so perfect. I remember thinking that I had to have you or I'd die. <laughs> I always thought that there was this one, one perfect person for everybody in the world, you know? And when you found that person, uh, like the rest of the world just kind of magically faded away. And, and, you know, the two of you would just be inside this kind of protective bubble. But there is no bubble. I mean, or, or if there is, we have to make it. I just think, I think life is more than a, than a series of moments, you know? It's, it's, we can make choices and, and, and we, can, we can choose to protect the people we love. And that's what makes us who we are. And those are the real miracles. I fell in love with you the moment I saw you. When I saw you up there on the balcony, I fell in love with you all over again. And the other people will ever change that. Because when I'm on my deathbed, I'm going to know that I married the only woman I ever really loved. Then you whispered that you loved me. And I felt so peaceful and safe. Because I knew that no matter what happened from that day on, nothing could ever be that bad. Because I had you. And then I, uh, and then I grew up and, and uh, I lost my way. And I blamed you for my failures. And I know that you think you have to do this today. And I don't want you to. Let me talk. Just... I might be the only person on the face of the earth that knows you're the greatest woman on earth. I might be the only one who appreciates how amazing you are in every single thing that you do. And in every single thought that you have, and how you say what you mean, and how you almost always mean something that's all about being straight and good. I, I think most people miss that about you. And I watch them wondering how they can watch you bring their food and clear their tables and never get that they just met the greatest woman alive. And the fact that I get it makes me feel good about me. <laughs> One person who, who knew you and accepted you and believed in you before anyone else did, or when no one else would, and no matter what happens, you'll always love them. Nothing can ever change that. It's more that I'm afraid of time. 
not having enough of it. Time to figure out who I'm supposed to be, to find my place in the world before I have to leave it. I'm afraid of what I'll miss. <laughs> but I guess... All right, son, you need to go now. If I love you... I should let you move on. No! 